arrives at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, our ball game here featuring a couple of young quarterbacks a lot of people have their eye on. Daniel Jones of the Giants, Kyler Murray of the Cardinals. Yeah, Brandon, we're starting to see some of the old guard moving on. Guys like Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, Eli Manning. And in their place, there have been some dynamic young guys who have come into the league, not just this year, but the last three or four years in particular. They've really changed the quarterback position. I think both of these guys fit into that category. Youth is being served. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, here's the option. And he will finally be taken down at the Giants' 14-yard line. A big play there on the option. Boy, Kyler Murray, a guy with an awful lot of things going for him. We know that. But at this stage, might be tough to decide whether he's a better passer or runner. And that was a heck of a run there. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time... How about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Murray going to throw. Flushed out right. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Jalen Smith able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Prater's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that. Those explosives that we talk about, that allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. 
He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Tackle made by Tanner Vallejo. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing Jones. Throwing deep for Galladay. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start with the option. Murray has the first down and more. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. On third and short, they'll try option left. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. After one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe Anderson loses the football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. 
catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves Jack that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals' touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went in the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. The half of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. Running again with Barkley on second down. And some room to maneuver. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Now Jones. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, on is Graham Gano for the Giants' field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And Gano's kick is right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. To throw, it's Murray. He's going deep for Brown, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Catch is made by Marquise Brown, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position... Certainly not in their favor here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked by Deontay Thompson. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, is the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, by comparison, they've been the better of these two sides in the rushing department, as you see the numbers there. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Jordan Phillips able to take him down. It's a loss of three. 
You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a... Under pressure, they got him again. Rashard Lawrence, he's the one that drops in this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking for Shepard deep. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. It could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Dexter Lawrence that time in on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. They'll try to run for it with Connor. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Jackson. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. New York's offense back out there and set to go. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game all right? in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Second down, here's Barkley again. Barkley a first down and more. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. 
so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. They'll try to run for it with Barkley, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Second and six. On the draw, this is Barkley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Barkley a first down and more. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Corey Peters there to bring him down. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. This drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. A handoff to Barkley. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And he's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gano's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Murray has the first down and more. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Connor on first down, not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a couple. Second down coming up. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. A give running right is counter. And he's going to be taken down at the... 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Open man is Anderson. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Hey, hey. 
So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home.